more thing, like before we finish up, can you give me a little shout out? Like, you know, it's, it's Black Bear Smoke. We're Black Bear Smoke, and we're riding the wave with, with Dave. Dave. Yeah. Woo! Cool. All right. Good. Thank you very much. Thanks, I, Dave. I think that'll be good. And then we're up.
got, got a good shot on us. It's all, uh -huh. the red light's flashing right after they turned it on. Yeah. We're all set. Hey, here we are. We're on a really super cool tour bus for Blackberry Smoke. Yeah. We're in Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. In the Buckeye Harley Davidson, right? Yeah. It was a great show. Great. Char and it's Charlie right here, and you put, they put on a hell of a show and everything. And it's been a couple of years since I've had a chance to uh, see and talk with you and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, and I know a lot's going on. Yeah. Uh, so what is it you'd like to go ahead and get the audience kind of to speed just the last two years? Because I know you guys have got a real new, real successful uh, CD just released. Why don't yeah. you go ahead and give, give people a little rundown of what's been cooking here? Uh, uh, first, um, before the album was released, we, we filmed a show uh, that we released uh, on DVD live at the Georgia Theater in Athens. And uh, that's done well for us. It's being aired on Palladia and uh, CMT Pure. Mm -hmm. It's good. That was, uh, we actually filmed that show. It was the day after we finished recording the album. Oh, wow. So then we released that. And then fast forward to August 14th, we released the Ripple Grill on album. OK. It's done well. I mean, who would have thought that uh, the day that it came out, it, it went to number one on the iTunes country chart. No kidding. And, yeah, Congratulations. And number ten on on the entire iTunes chart. The the whole big deal chart. Whatever. Yeah. Which I mean, you know, I'm, personally, I, I was shocked. You know, yeah. And uh, in awe. That was great. It was a great honor. I actually got to call Zach Brown because we knocked him out of number one. Number <laughs> sorry. And I got sorry, to, sorry, boss. Yeah, I got to send him a text. I was like, how does it look down there, boss? <laughs> but he was he loved it. He was fired up. He was so congratulatory. You know? yeah, well, that's great. And, and, I, and since I've seen you, um, you've recently, or in the last year and a half or so, signed a deal. So you're on the label for Zach Brown, right? Yeah, right Right after I talked to you, probably, we, we uh, was, or had we already on? Well, it was two years ago in Ironton, so uh, you probably it's been since then. Yeah, um, but don't no, worry, my memory's going back yeah. too. So that's well, well, we, we've been, you know, we've been together so, so long, and yeah. we've been through some horrible experiences with rec indie record labels. Uh, uh -huh. Well, just the, the industry is yeah. unforgiving, and yeah. uh, it's it's harder to. Uh, it's you know, we like to steer our own ship, but in some things it's too hard to do by yourself. If, right. Uh, if you or if you're trying to reach as many people as possible, which is the goal for everybody. Right. Right. So anyway, when we needed a hand, um, he was there. Good. He's our friend for first and foremost. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's a he's a good uh, a good head of the label. Yeah. Well, well the thing of it is that I mean it's, it's really a perfect fit, and I know that. Uh, was last year you were actually opening up and touring with, uh, with yeah. Zach and everything and, right. and playing in front of you know monster crowds and everything and yeah probably all those things combined because when I had first met you a couple years ago uh, one of the things Charlie was talking about is how many miles you put on the bus and I think it's double or triple yeah, since yeah, then. Totally. So well, all those added things together is, then, is really the secret to success I'd say right it is we do more and more shows every year you know yeah. we've been doing That's just uh, that's that's how we make a living. Yeah. So we're not a you know we don't have a big runaway hit single. Or we're not independently wealthy, so we have to get out here and bust our ass. For well, I, I mean it's it's good, because, but the thing of it is, I think it's going to lead to a lot more things on down the road. Yeah. It's just like tonight, you came out, and you met with the fans, and you did autographs, and you did pictures. And I know you had a, a special thing before. Yeah. Uh, a lot of groups today. Uh, it, you know, we experience and stuff. I mean, they jump in the limousine as soon as they're off right. the stage, and yeah. they're out of there, and they don't want nothing to do with anybody. And well, you know, we're here to, to uh, play music for, for people. Yeah. And, uh, and to try and make, you know, playing our music makes us happy. Yeah. That's why we do it every day. And the goal is to make other people happy as well. Yeah. We try to make other people as happy as we're making ourselves. Well. And, uh, and if you know, we're fans of, of our fans. I know that yeah. sounds silly, but no, no. we we are, we appreciate shit. Yeah. We're not supportive. We work. Yeah. We're you know we're blue collar. Yes. Type of guys. So, yeah. Um, it, we meet people every night that drive so far. Oh yeah. Or buy plane tickets and they come and so it's like you know we, if 
going out and saying thank you yeah. and taking a picture and, and signing their CD and spending the whole time. That's right. That's enough. Yes. I mean, I hope it is enough. Yeah. Um, and, and actually, we, we met some uh, girls tonight. I've got got a little interview with them that they drove uh, from Wisconsin yeah. to come see you and stuff. And uh, they were just so excited and uh, long-time fans and stuff. So, I mean, there, yeah. there it goes right there. And that's got to really make you feel good right. that people are really dedicated and they really appreciate what you do. And, you know, it, it all is that, you know, what goes around, comes around that's type right. of thing. Well, we're in plus, I think it could be that I don't know if we would have done We've learned a lot, obviously, you yeah. know, being together for 12 years. And when we were all 18, you know, we would have been looking for a stripper and a bag of blow. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a limousine, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, which there was yeah, obviously yeah. not. Yeah. Enough, but we were, you know, you, things change when you grow up. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can tell we'll be a grown up. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> don't, don't, don't mention that. <laughs> I got a few more years yeah. in here. But, hey, let the people know more about the CD that's just released. I know it's been really super successful and stuff, but let the people know exactly what the music's all about on there and yeah. what all it took to put into it and stuff. Well, it's called The Whippoorwill. Uh, it's named after a song that's on it. Uh, a song I wrote about my grandmother, uh, my late grandmother. But it, it's, uh, it's a good... We, and there were a couple run through. Yeah, come on through. Hey, Richard. Hey, hey Brandon. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. There, were, there were a couple of, you know, there was, uh, we spent a lot of time, a, a few years waiting to make it. So we had a lot of time to to choose the songs. Yeah. And had a lot of songs. A lot yeah. of songs were built up, you know. Okay. okay. The, the bucket got full. Yeah. So we went in with like 22 or 25 yeah. songs to choose from. So we, you know, we just went there and played them all, and we all, as a, a committee, with yeah. Zach and Clay Cook and from his band, and okay. Matt Magano, we were like, all right, well, so we chose 17 oh, out wow. of the 25, which is still a ship of Yeah, yeah that's, that's a whole lot so of we music. Went, we went into this great studio in Nashville, North Carolina, called Echo Mountain University. It's an old church. Okay. It's been converted into a studio. It's beautiful, and it sounded what you hear on the CD is how it sounded in that room. It was just big and, and a natural reverb. It was just a vibe. You yeah. Know, a lot of mojo in there. God's in there. Good. So uh, uh, we recorded all 17 songs and, and we sat around with having the nice problem of, okay, you know, Zach was like, well, we obviously have to trim some of these away because we can't have 17 songs on the CD that was on good. the album. Yeah. So uh, we're going to make a double album. So for a couple of weeks we sat and we're like, I mean, really, it's and I wasn't at all like these are this is my baby. You can't cut it away. You yeah, know? yeah. But they're songs. You know, if it was crap, we would have thrown it away. I would have thrown it away. Yeah. But we all felt strongly about all of them, so we had that daunting task. So we got them trimmed. So how many? How many songs? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Well, it was going to be twelve, and, and Zach actually was like got to put this one on too. You're not superstitious, are you? Yeah. And I said, no, I'm not. So, 13 it is. Good. And it's a good cross-section of what we've been doing for the last few years. Okay. You know, there's some real rocking stuff. There's some real back porchy stuff. There's a, some good greasy southern rockers, you know.
got it. So, I mean, hell, that's great and stuff. So, well, coming up, uh, I know in your schedule, I mean, September is, I mean, just about booked. I mean, is it a couple nights off? And yeah. That's about it. I'm going to have to fly my son in for his birthday wherever we are. He turns 16. So. Well, you're going to be here in Ohio. You're going to be an easy rider thing, and that's right. in about a week. And then I saw you're playing at Cruise Stadium. Now, are you headlining that, or is somebody, are you playing with somebody else? I don't know. I, I can't. I know where we're going tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. You're gonna be here tomorrow, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that that make for an easy trip. Yeah. So you're actually probably getting some sleep tonight. Yeah, <laughs> that's, so good. that's good. That's good. But yeah, you're gonna be here in Ohio and stuff. And uh, I'm personally uh, I'm gonna work, work real hard to help promote uh, your September 28th uh, deal. Not that you really need anything oh, extra, no. but well, I thank mean, you very much. Uh, yeah, I'll yeah. be sure to you know start letting people know about it because yeah. believe it or not, I've had a lot of people just you know in the last week or two when you know I was telling them about you guys playing down here and stuff like that they were all saying oh my god yeah I'm seeing them here and I'm hearing them there and right. blah 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 and, you know now it's all the social media right. that's really and you guys have done a fantastic job taking advantage of that and having your stuff out there yeah man we have Greg Grid does a lot of that okay uh, he's just a, such a together dude you know? okay We've got a good team of people which you know as it grows it's interesting to watch how it happens funny thing that you say that though you know it happens so so often that people will even with all the uh, interaction with social media yeah like inevitably we will get somebody tomorrow yeah say I had no idea you were gonna be in Dayton Ohio yeah, last night yeah yeah it well, happens well and I think the reason for that is because right now there's just an explosion with uh, social media and cable channels and pay-per-view and this and that. But yeah. People are so different There's places. Plenty. Yeah. There's so much out there that it's just hard for people to really keep up and yeah. monitor what's going on. And I know myself, unless I go to somebody's site and really see where they're at and study and stuff, it just kind of blows by because, yeah. you know, 24 hours a day is just not enough time. We need right. to change the camera. Yeah, no, I picked right. up a book so, yesterday and was like, what the hell is this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, it's you my know, book. Yeah, so, anyhow, uh, but hey, listen, Thank you very much for taking time tonight Thank you. and uh, riding away with Dave. And riding away with Dave. It. Yeah, yeah, and I look forward to seeing you. And hopefully in Columbus, maybe we can hook up again over there at the uh, the festival. And, I'm, and I might end up going to the Easy Rider. And you you play those events before. Oh, tons yeah. of them. Yeah. They love them. Well, the biker crowd, they love you. So yeah. there ain't no problem about that. So, I, bet, you know. I bet dollars to donuts we'll see a pair of naked breasts. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, more than one. I I'm hear. Sure. <laughs> so, cool. Okay, guys, that's it. Riding away with Dave tonight. Charlie Starr right Thank here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope y'all get it.